Hello everyone and welcome to Dungeon Defenders 2. This is the first level. We're gonna see what it's like. Okay, so let's go ahead and start playing. Immediately when I get in, I gotta see what the lay of the land's like. Lay down some barricades. Some cheap towers, defend them. Move over to the middle lane, do the same thing. And then over to the right lane, do the same thing. Basic strategy is to make it so that nothing can get through the barricades so that I can whack them with my sword until they're dead. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade that right tower because that way I won't have to worry about that lane as much. And I can take care of the other ones. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of bounce around, kill stuff, so have a good time. One thing I do like about this game compared to the first one is that you can use your special abilities to hit people before they come to the gate. Now, that offset with the fact that you have like a third as many towers as you had in the first game. But you know, every game's gonna be different. Yeah. Do some chain hits. Try and grab all those mana crystals. Not exactly worried about this level, it's, it's obviously the first level, it's pretty easy. Um, Especially for my guy, because I've leveled up some. But I figured this would be a good way to show everyone what the levels are like, and you know, get a get a good first look at the game. Maybe if you were thinking about picking it up, or if you were nervous about it being different from the first game. One thing I like is the the towers that are just kind of part of the map, like the ice tower and the fire tower on this level. They can do some serious uh, effects. The fire one does an AoE, and I accidentally upgraded the wrong tower. Great. Anyway, the the ice one will freeze anything that is hit by it, which is really nice. Each one is a 30 second cooldown, and you can use them pretty often. As you can see, I'm using the, the lovely railing there. Pretty much, pretty much got to use your environment in this game, just like in the first one. Look for those natural barrier points. And yeah, we've got a few more goblins on this one. Overall, it's still nothing a not good problem. Pretty much just swing my sword, sword, swing my sword. And it takes care of the problem for me. Those ballistas are working well. They're up high, so they can aim pretty much anywhere. Now, do an item. Now, probably not going to get any good items in this level, but you know, you can use anything you get to make your existing items better. I'll probably have a video on that later. But right now, we're going to keep killing. bit of parkour. Oh, I totally missed that one. Eh, not a big deal. Probably need to heal my barrier on that one. Doing pretty good so far. Four guys left, there they are. Take them out, take them out. Swing in the wrong direction, you know. Chasing after, dude. Missing him. There we go. Let's get some mana. Build some stuff. Could have paid extra to upgrade that uh, cannonball tower, but I don't know. There we go. Had to get myself a basic defense going before I started wasting all my points on one tower. Okay, looks like we got some dudes on the left. 
Yeah. Um, I've played with the, uh, the mage and the uh, ranger sound. The, the hunter, but I really just like the, the knight the best. I think he's got the most straightforward towers and really good melee ability. Not necessarily the most useful in a team, but I think he makes a good solo thing. Uh, the monk is fun, but a little bit more challenging solo. The introduction of spells in this game was was a good go. You know, not just using your your weapon to cast them, but actually having dedicated spells. Continue to bounce around, kill stuff. Kind of feel like Sailor Moon using a giant crescent thing. Whatever, whatever. I'm manly. Got my my wife beater that's got hearts on it. You know, it's totally normal. Totally normal for a knight not to have a shirt. I've got armor everywhere else, why do I need it on that? My abs are so hard it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Gotta save the old man pack there. The piggies. Everything. I am glad they put this game out for early access because otherwise a lot of people wouldn't be able to pick it up. They, uh, well, a lot of people just don't pick up early access games, but I always like them. I think you get the most out of them. You just get to watch them grow, influence them some. Okay, we're okay. Okay on those. Might use this fire tower. Actually hit something with it. That one guy. Take a little bit of damage. Nope. Didn't even hurt me. That was a little bit better, maybe I just fucked it around, but the shortcuts are hard to find these days. Ah! There we go. Nope, not home. 30 guys left. On the right. Okay, what do we got? We got sword. Gotta kill some stuff. I don't like these guys, they're annoying. Although they're not as annoying as some of the enemies you get later. Oh, we can't hit this guy. Gotta take these guys down the way. Hopefully they don't destroy my tower. Destroy the Nexus. Nope, oh, we got another group coming. Right behind us. Yeah. <laughs> I use that move probably too often. Okay, what we got, what we got. Why is this one here? One, maybe? Just one. And it's a rag. Here, so. It's worth money, I guess. Separate guy. And on the final round. What do we got? Upgrade those. Already upgraded that one. Might as well upgrade it again. Doing pretty good so far. Upgrade, so we want to heal it. And I think we're pretty good. Got like no mana. Okay, 82 guys. Left first. Oh crap. Coming down the middle also. Yeah! Okay, well I like that trap. My will still take care of the guys that are frozen. There they. Oh, that's a lot of goblins. Coming for my nexus. Get it some damage. Take off pretty quick. 
Okay, and that's the end. 